from CareCo TV, one of the longest running outdoor programs on television today. Exploring the country and the coast in search of adventure. From the mountains of the great Northwest to the shores of the Atlantic Ocean, this is Americana Outdoors, presented by Garmin. Kentucky Lake, one of the first stops in the 2015 Cabela's Collegiate Bass Fishing Series. This is the Cabela's Collegiate Big Bass Bash, presented by Berkeley. Awesome job! This two-day event features a different format than most. Here, anglers have four sessions each day to catch and weigh the biggest bass they can land. Four, nine, four. The Cabela's Collegiate Big Bass Bash, presented by Berkeley, is celebrating its 10th year, launching out of Paris Landing on the banks of Kentucky Lake. What this is so cool, these kids, uh, they're getting to fish one of the premier fisheries in, in all of the United States. It's one of the world's best fisheries, without question. And uh, uh, not only bass fishing, crappie fishing, any type of fishing anybody wants to do. Collegiate bass fishing has come a long way, with more than 300 anglers here this week, representing schools from 24 states. We fished the national championship last year on Pickwick, and we had to come back because both U.S. put on such a good show. I love the big bass format. You get a chance to go out and it's like you're never out of it. You can catch it first cast or you can catch it your last and you're never out of it. You know, Kentucky Lake right now is probably going to fish a little bit difficult, but the unique format is going to allow for any angler basically to make one cast out there and he's going to be rewarded tremendously, not only in great prizes from the sponsors of the Cabela's Collegiate Big Bass Bass presented by Berkeley, but also it's going to give them tremendous advantage basically on the Cabela School of the Year program. That program this is a double points event, and because it's a double points event, that one cast could lead a team to the most prestigious title in collegiate bass fishing. The Cabela's Collegiate Bass Fishing Series consists of four events, including the Folk U.S. Collegiate Bass Fishing Championship, presented by Cabela's on Alabama's Lake Pickwick. And none of these events would be possible without the support of our sponsors. You know, we're ecstatic to be presenting this. And be a partner with it, you know, we've been a part of it for 10 years now, so it's exciting to see the growth. We actually talk about it each year, but you know, we set a record with the number of anglers here, so that's really cool, and, and I get excited over a big bass, because it changes the dynamic, right? It's not as much about a team, it's about catching the one fish, you're not worried about five, and you know, and we were actually excited, we actually consulted with our pros, and we gave out product that is absolutely perfect for this body of water during this time of year, so we're excited. Back at Paris Landing for day one takeoff, anglers are facing some challenging conditions. Last week, there was still a foot of snow on the ground. That's gone now, but the runoff has inundated the lake, muddying up the cold water. It's gonna be a tough bite uh, with all these boats, you know, we got like four of the tournaments in the lake right now, so uh, we're just gonna try to get out there and, and uh, see what we can do. I mean, uh, we got some big ones on a uh, road bed out there, so we'll see if we can get on them and. Uh, if we can catch like a five or six early, I think we'll have a good shot at winning an hour. Uh, we're looking forward to it. It's always been a fun tournament for us. Um, we're looking for the big fish, obviously, so uh, we hope to catch them. At Safe Light, the tournament director released all anglers onto Kentucky Lake, and the Cabela's Big Bass Bash presented by Berkeley was underway. Coming up, we'll head out on the water for tournament coverage of stop number one in the Cabela's Collegiate Bass Fishing Series. Check out the all-new Garmin Panoptics all-seeing sonar. There's nothing like it on the market. It will change the way you fish. To learn more about Garmin Panoptics, visit Garmin.com. Hey guys, we're here with the uh, Bubble Blade Hunting Knife. It's a great new piece of steel from Bubble Blade. You can use it as a long knife, cutting or, or uh, deboning type knife. You can shorten it up for more your more delicate skinning type work when you're uh, 
processing uh, deer, cog, whatever you've killed that day. And the best thing about it is this is a no slip grip, no matter how wet or greasy a sucker gets, you're not gonna slip on this blade. It is razor sharp. It's the cure all for knives. I mean, it really is. Whether it's deer, fish, I mean, I've, I don't know how many fish I've flayed with one of these. I carry one in my boat. I carry one in my backpack. I mean, everywhere I go, if it's gonna have to do with the outdoors, I've got a bubble blade. After your next successful deer hunt, savor the flavor with a Bradley Smoker. They have a whole list of creative recipes for venison with a wide variety of delicious smoky wood flavors. Find out more about making your meal as memorable as the hunt at BradleySmoker.com. The Alaskan Series Cooler Packs by Arctic Ice. Specifically designed to keep your food and drinks cold all day long without having to use ice and end up with a soggy lunch. The Alaskan Series by Arctic Ice. Bitterly cold. Americana Outdoors is brought to you by Garmin and the power of simple. By Cabela's, it's in your nature. And by Bradley Smokers. Welcome back to Paris, Tennessee and Kentucky Lake for the Cabela's Big Bass Bash presented by Berkeley. With competition underway, we'll begin tournament coverage with Brian Eaton and Nick Ladart. Well, this is backup spot number five, probably. Wait, one, one, there's a lot got of him, points. Got him. Oh, pulled off. There go. There's a lot of points and stuff uh, up front we're wanting to hit in a road bed. Uh, coming in on the other side over there, we're wanting to hit two. Um, we both all over it, though. So we came back here. We called three times here in practice. So we're going to uh, see if we can't get one here. We're just going to. Kind of let everybody get settled in. We're going to get settled in and just kind of rotate around this cove here. And see if we can't catch some. Oh, that's a good one. Oh, uh, we don't know. Kentucky Lake, we've uh, we've been here in the summer before. Uh, ledge fishing, of course, is completely different now, completely different animal. Uh, it's the first time ever fishing here in spring. Um, I know it's got a good population of fish, a lot of healthy fish. Uh, good boy. Oh, that's a good one. There we boy. go. Do it right there. Got one I had on. I like that. Felt like a good one, man. So we can get one there. Far close. Uh, two and a half, two and three quarters. Yeah. You don't know how tough the bite's gonna be, so we're gonna, we're gonna put them in here. Well, that's the first fish of the day for Brian and Nick. Moving on, we'll check in with the University of North Alabama's Andrew Tate and Dawson Lenz. Yeah. Yeah. I think there's fish everywhere right now, honestly. We found fish in two foot of water, and we found fish in 18 foot of water, so we're just gonna kind of, um, just kind of bump around a little bit. I think these fish are moving. I think they're, uh, a lot of them, you know, two weeks ago, half this lake was close to froze over. And uh, so now that we've had this warm rain and this warm week, I think a lot of these fish are making a big move. Why don't you just eat it at the boat? That's a good one. Oh, God, it's a good one. You're good. You're good. You're all right. Be easy. Be easy. There we go, baby. Atta boy. That's what I'm talking about. Atta boy, Dale. That's what I'm talking about. That was for you, Lori Crompton. That was for you. There we go. <laughs> that feels good, you know? I feel like. Feels like we're making good decisions. The sun drop really played a key role in that. And the waning crescent moon. Yes, really the waning gets the crescent feeding moon. <laughs> waning crescent. That's what it's all about. Got the algae bloom going yeah. just right. The University of North Alabama won School of the Year last season, and it looks like they're off to a great start in 2015. 
The UNA has four teams fishing the Cabela's Big Bass Bash this year. Among them is Ryan and Zach Derricott. This is their fourth and final year fishing the Cabela's Collegiate Series, and they're trying to make the most of it. Good job. Yeah, this is an awesome experience just to be able to fish these tournaments. We're both actually seniors, so this is our, this is our last Big Bass Bash. We've been doing it for since we were freshmen, so we've had this will be our fourth year. Yeah, we've had our ups and downs, and yeah, we've had a we've had a great experience college fishing. Uh, we've gotten to do you know probably a lot more than some others. I mean, we get to I mean, how many people get to say they get to fish and be in college on a college fishing team? So. Now, if you or someone you know is interested in collegiate bass fishing, visit the Collegiate Bass website for schedules, information, and registration. Well, coming up, we'll head back to Paris Landing and check out highlights from weigh-in at the Cabela's Big Bass Bash, presented by Berkeley. Check out the all-new pro-designed Berkeley Flicker Shad, a medium diving crankbait that'll help put bigger bass in your live well. You can find this and much more at cabelas.com. Since 1976, Delta Egg has been an industry leader in plant health and nutrition. With our innovative concept in chemistry, Delta Egg produces healthier crops and improves yields. We formulate biostimulants and micronutrients designed to improve fertilizer efficiency and increase crop response to nutrients. Make your fertilizer go further with reliable products that work. Grow healthier crops from the ground up with versatile low-rate products. Delta Egg, improving plant performance. Since 1996, Frog Togs Outerwear have kept outdoorsmen warm and dry, even in the worst of conditions. Now, Frog Togs have expanded beyond hunting and fishing markets and revolutionized the industry with their patented fabric system. Frog Togs are extremely lightweight and portable. They pack easily in your car, boat, RV, and even on your motorcycle. Best of all, Frog Togs are 100% waterproof and windproof, and yet extremely breathable. Check us out online at frogtogs.com. Frog Togs, stop the rain. What if there was a camera that went where you went and shot what you shot? An action camera so easy to use you can concentrate on your hunt, not the hunt for the record button. A camera that let you add dimensions to your video, like speed, altitude, or even your heart rate, just before you let it fly. Life. Camera. Action. The Verb Elite HD Action Camera from Garmin. When it comes to racing big deer, Purina is the leader in deer nutrition research. Our Antler Max research and development team is committed to developing products that provide results in your deer management program with a difference you can see. If you're ready to take your deer operation to the next level, look no further than Purina's new and improved Antler Max premium deer feeds. You can find them at your local Purina retailer. Purina Antler Max premium deer feed, a difference you can see. After all my years of searching, I finally busted the method I had The Angle High Performance Cooler, it's incredible. Just look at this lid, what a powerhouse. It's so freaking strong, so reliable. I just wanna boom. This silicone gasket's better than rubber. Why, well, hello there. Are your base and sidewalls way thicker for superior insulation? Ah, oh, yes. After 10 days, still cold, still fresh. Let's hear Yeti do that. With Angle Coolers, it's official. The Yeti is busted. Experience high this a brighter sight, better than standard sights, giving you an immediate, more successful shooting performance. high this lets you see a dramatic contrast between the target and the barrel for a more intuitive aim that delivers instant results. Our light pipes come in a variety of shapes, sizes, and colors, designed to be seen in a variety of conditions. With our broad line of sights, you'll see your marksmanship dramatically improve, bringing more fun and confidence into every shooting experience. Shoot more accurately. Enjoy the sport. Choose high this Americana Outdoors presented by Garmin is also brought to you by 
Ranger boats still building legends one at a time. Yamaha Marine, reliability starts here. And by Arctic Ice Chill and Brew. Welcome back to the Cabela's Big Bass Bash presented by Berkeley, a unique format in tournament bass fishing where the emphasis is placed on big fish as opposed to the traditional five fish limit. The biggest thing they have to change is the mentality of a big bass versus a five fish tournament. The big bass tournaments that I've been involved with, that's the biggest struggle for everybody. They overthink it. Play to your strength. You only have to catch the one fish and figure out when to weigh it in. University of North Alabama, Andrew Tate, coming up next. Right there, let's see if we can get you up where you can win something for this hour. It's gonna be close, 395, 395. Good job, what'd you catch that fish on? I can't tell you till tomorrow. McKendry University, Dustin Pendergraft, next to weigh in. McKendry University is well represented in the Cabela's Collegiate Bass Fishing Series. 313. 313. They're one of the few teams that travel with an entourage. At nearly every event, you'll find the Bearcat support crew cheering their team on and manning the grill, cooking up burgers and dogs for anybody that asks. There you go, buddy. Enjoy. We're going to Texas this year, Wisconsin. Um, we just back our kids. We do what we can to help them and to have a good time. Okay, anglers, it is 11.23. If you're deciding to weigh in for this hour, 11.23, you have 11.24, it just clicked over. You have six minutes to weigh in for this session. Six minutes. Nate Slate from Superior State University. New leader for this session, five, six, two. Get that fish up, show it to everybody. Look right there at that Garmin tent. Smile real big. The Cabela's Collegiate Big Bass Bash presented by Berkeley is one of the favorite stops in the Collegiate Series. And a big reason for that is the amount of local support. You know, the Association of Collegiate Anglers has been very fortunate over the past few years to be able to come to Paris, Tennessee and Kentucky Lake. This area has basically embraced college fishing. And it's one of the reasons why I think that college fishing has grown to such levels because when these college anglers come in, the community welcomes them. You look at places like Paris, Tennessee, uh, Florence, Alabama, you look at places like Chickamauga, all of those locations have embraced the sport of college fishing. And I think not only has the college angler benefited from it, but so has the community because you look at this particular event here at the Cabela's Big Bass Bash, we've got students from over 24 states that have come here and chosen to spend their spring break in this town and on this body of water. The growth of collegiate bass fishing has been phenomenal and participation at this event has more than doubled over the years. And I think the first year we had about 120 in, uh, uh, anglers and then uh, we, we've seen it steadily grow each year. Uh, the excitement around the tournament uh, uh, from our community is, is uh, continued to grow also because they get to meet these young people in our, our town and if uh, they're staying at one of our hotels uh, and motels, the uh, the owners of that come back to us and say, hey, these are the nicest bunch of kids we've ever seen. University of Alabama at Birmingham, Wesley Minor coming up next. Wesley, good solid fish. How long have you had that fish caught today? Uh, about two minutes. Two minutes? 626, good job. New big fish for this session. Get that big fish out and hold it up right here. Look at that Garmin tent. That's the biggest fish of this session. Was you, tell me is at least out of the rock point. Oh, I was, by sure. <laughs> he knew that's the off limits area. He caught it out there two minutes ago. That is great. All if right. you'd like to see more collegiate bass fishing, including complete two-day coverage of this event, check your local listing for the Cabela's Collegiate Bass Fishing Television Series. Coming up, we'll shift gears and check in on the final installment of The Challenge. Hey, if you're gearing up for spring bass fishing, you might want to consider adding a Cabela's Verano reel to your tackle box. Pair it up with a Platinum ZX rod for top-of-the-line performance. You can find both at cabelas.com. And here is the Ranger Boats Question of the Week. For the correct answer, visit mydreamrig.com.
Yamaha Viking and introducing the all new Viking 6. The hardest working, most off-road capable side-by-sides in America. Built for the hardest working people on earth, you. change the game, you make the rules. Introducing the all-new Stealth SS from Ten Point, the most compact crossbow we've ever created. Ten Point, there is no substitute. When I'm not hunting, I'm thinking about hunting. It's on my mind because it's in my blood. When the hunt calls, my TC Venture points the way. Accurate, reliable, proven until there's no more ground to cover and no more stories to tell when you're a tc venture hunter the hunt never ends julie goloski smith and wesson consumer program manager and world champion shooter joe zanetti smith and wesson finishing specialist and lifelong hunter jim dalton Smith & Wesson Master Gunsmith. I shoot competitively, and so does my son. Our people, our products, our passion. Smith & Wesson. Stealth Cam gives you the edge on the most elusive bugs. Capture high-res stills, HD audio and video, or time-lapse imagery. Nothing escapes our sub-one-second trigger with our advanced multi-zone detection grid. With our energy-efficient design, one set of batteries will last up to a full year. Retina low-light sensitivity captures stunning nighttime imagery out to 100 feet. Get all the latest technology in our new G-Series of scouting cameras. The next generation of Stealth Cam has arrived, delivering technologies you need every hunting season. Americana Outdoors, presented by Garmin, is also brought to you by Big Bite Bait, by Spro Corporation, we are sports professionals, and by Do All Outdoors. Welcome back to Americana Outdoors, presented by Garmin. Now, for the past four weeks, we've brought you The Challenge, an outdoor skills competition pitting professional anglers Clark Wendland and Jeff Reynolds against Will Cooper and Cody Levy. This is our final competition, and for that, we'll turn it over to Wade Middleton. We'll do a little quick challenge here to see who's going to uh, be the best caster, flipper, pitcher going on. We've got six holes, maximum opportunities on each one would be 10, and the total lowest score will actually be the one that win this one here. Cody's going to lead it off. I feel pretty confident about this. I love doing this type of stuff, and, and it's always a little more interesting because Wade put a, put a cool challenge behind it in a cool course. So, I'm ready to do it and uh, just ready to get these, uh, these buckets hit. We've got a six hole course set up and there each competitor has 10 tries for each hole. At the end of the competition, the team with the lowest score wins. These last, the back three, I feel confident on. They're pretty uh, even shots, so I feel like I can hit those. Let's see though. There you go. Oh. oh. There we go. With a score of 14, Cody set the standard for the rest of the competitors. You know, this is a game where one, you know, one bucket could get you. So, um, you know, it's anyone's chance right now. It's anyone's opportunity. And um, you just got to see how it plays out. Professional angler Clark Wendlett was up next, and he ran into trouble on hole number three. And I had to throw a curveball to get that one in there. Clark scored 29 there on his run. Will Cooper stepped on deck next, making short work of the first three holes. Nice. Got it. Oh, oh. that was close. Almost got it. There it is. Boom! Holes there four and five went down easily, there but not so much on number six. Oh. Here, Will struggled and started racking up the strokes. Trying too hard. Put it in there. Boom! There it is. I told you. Woo! I told you. I just gave them a window opportunity. 51 right now for the young ones. Clark has 
29, so that's going to put Jeff having to 22 to tie, 21 to win. Well, it all comes down to this. You ready? Will and yep. Cody have a combined score of 51. Jeff's partner scored 29 on his round. That yep. means Jeff needs a 23 to tie, 22 wins. Three more to go. I'm thinking just one for each one of them. This thing will be over. That'll be 12. He's already tied. He's got 12 with one to go. And all he's got to do is make one in 10 and we win. Get it in. With 10 chances to wrap up this challenge, Jeff fails to hit the target on the first six attempts. Three left. Woo! That game. <laughs> Top ball <on> game. <laughs> so we had a tie. So Wade gets to read, figure the course, make it a little more difficult, no practice. We'll go again. I get to go first this time. Moving on to the tiebreaker round on a redesigned Eight. course, Clark duplicates his round one score with another 29. Eight. Will steps up for the rookies and does his part, scoring 22. And with his team down by seven, Jeff Reynolds is up next. Four. In the sudden death, you know, and I actually had my best round. I mean, I've, I flipped really kind of above my head and uh, got fortunate and, and got a good score. Three. Fourteen. That right there put a little pressure on him. That's my partner. Fourteen. At least that's what I counted that right way. Hey, look at it. Look at that lip swimming. He's like, oh. Jeff just had a phenomenal round right there. Got 14 on his last one. Really made a, put the pressure on uh, Cody coming up to do his last one. That gives the old vets a 43 total score in the sudden death. With Will's 22 to tie, Cody's going to have to have 21 to win less than 20. Right now, I have to beat the score. I have to beat this course in 21 cast. And uh, I beat it in 17 last time. If I can do that again, it's ours, so I'm not gonna get big headed yet. Here we go. Three. Woo. That's what I'm talking Two. about. Three. Here we go. Five chances to tie four. You got four chances to win. I'm gonna guess two. It all came down to the final hole. You gotta feel it out. How many you got left? Three more to win. I want to talk some trash to him, but I thought, you know, I'm not going to. I'm, I'm just gonna sit back, keep my mouth shut, and if he beats us, he deserves it. Five. That gives y'all 21 right now. 22. That's it, right? That would have been the tie right there. Ah. Oh. That stinks. That last hole was the one that killed me. And I, I gave up the score on that one, and I gave up the win. And uh, I feel bad for letting my partner down on that one. But, you know, like Wade said, there's many challenges to go. Um, I'm stubborn, so I'm going to keep on pushing. I am impressed. I didn't think y'all would get that close, but he, he got on a roll at the start and did good. Struggled on the last one, but that's still a good, sco good score. If you'd like to see past episodes of The Challenge, visit AmericanaOutdoors.com for our complete library of shows. We've also got a newsletter and a Facebook page. We hope you'll check it out. And finally, a big thanks to our sponsors for their part in making this show possible. When you're in the market for new gear, please support those that support us. Americana Outdoors is a CareCo TV production. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next week.